Hello artsy peeps. I am on my break right now. I have about 15 minutes until I have to go back in. Um, but for today's video, I'm going to be talking about pursuing your dream and your passion while working a full-time nine to five job. Um, for some of you that are watching this video right now, you might be feeling discouraged or drained or sad or depressed because you are done working in a corporate job. Um, maybe there are some people that are <laughs> driving you nuts at work or, um, or maybe you're just, you work better independently and you're more of a problem solver. I don't know. But anyway, long story short, you are just feeling just upset or feeling bad in, inside yourself. And I totally understand where you're coming from because I am right now, I have to work a nine to five job at the moment um, because I'm just not making enough with my art. But these are the steps that I am personally taking to eventually go part-time into full-time or I mean if I'm able to completely quit my job but that means that I'm able to be sustainable with my art career so this video I'm gonna give a few little tips or just share my story um, and hopefully it can help you artsy peeps out there if you're feeling this struggle so again just take what I say with a grain of salt because in the end you need to do what's working for you and what's right for you um, so yeah the big thing was I had to sit down and just look at my finances that was a big thing and just see where my debt was and just start throwing chunks into when I was able to into like my car payment um, I also was living in an apartment at the time with my mom that I was paying over a thousand dollars for just rent and that also like I also had to do like electric and sewage and just little things here and there um, or just bug treatment because we we lived in like a rental home so eventually I was able to move out with my partner and the financial burden just kind of came off. I don't have to pay as much rent anymore, so I'm very grateful for that. Um, but, you know, if I was still living in that apartment where I had to pay a thousand dollars, then I would start coming up with solutions or um, budgeting um, how, like, how to pay so I wasn't paying like paycheck to paycheck, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, that's the big thing, definitely, is just cracking down on your finances, sitting down, really writing down everything, your subscriptions, uh, maybe opening a bank account that has a high interest, so you're earning money back, but by all means, I am not an accountant. <laughs> but yeah, that's the first priority, is start saving, throwing money into your debt, um, and start strategizing and coming up with a plan to get out of that nine to five full-time job so you can do more of what you love. Um, I was actually a manager for two years so I was able to accumulate vacation time and now that I'm working on my book right now Lula's Delicious Decision I'm able to use my vacation time and my float time um, so I can work like so then I get like three days back to back off and that was something that I did talk to my manager about and to f be able to have a job where I can schedule my work around my passion is is crucial as well too and I'm very grateful that I was able to do that um, so yeah I was able to again communicate commu um, accumulate that vacation and float time and I've been taking full advantage of that <laughs> so I'm hoping cross fingers by the time the book is done um, I'm able to make sales off of that book so um, yeah we'll we'll see so yeah definitely strategizing and planning and coming up with ways of getting out of your full-time job that you're not passionate about also just working with your schedule and I've kind of already mentioned this, but, um, you know, with, I have a calendar and it's just, I am constantly writing on it. Like 
I write out my work schedule and then I try to see if there's a way to squeeze in art time for that. So for instance, I worked, uh, today I'm working from eight to four. So when I get home, I'm able to either work on the book or I could do a little bit of video editing or stuff like that before having to make dinner. But I'm off tomorrow so I can put in a full um, day's work with my art. So I'll probably work on the book or, or something like that. So um, finding that time in your schedule to add in your passion. Uh, so just remembering that everything just takes time. Everything takes time and it's just, it can be a very slow moving or slow burning process. Um, but when I was in like my early twenties, um, even into my late twenties, I can look back and see where I have gone wrong or, um, what I've could have done better. So, cause I was trying to do art shows and, or do some paintings and try to sell paintings on Etsy and all this stuff. And there were some stuff that did better than others but I can look back and, and definitely see where I was kind of all over I was honestly I was kind of all over the place so I think definitely getting clarity and really pinpointing like what is your goal what what are you wanting to accomplish and finding solutions and finding a way to accomplish that goal and because I uh, to be honest I was kind of all over the place and when I was doing shows like I didn't set up properly. I didn't like the night before, I didn't do like a practice setup or any of that stuff. I was just like, yeah, let's just go with it. and <laughs> All that good stuff, so yeah. And again, just reminding yourself that it is a process and I keep a journal and I write down any ideas or just, or how I'm feeling mentally and emotionally. And I know it can be a journey. It truly really is an art journey. And to find that niche or that niche or niche, <laughs> niche, whatever. Um, and <clears throat> it's hard, especially with bills. And you, if you have kids or you're trying to keep a roof over your head, for me, it was keeping a roof over my head. Um, but I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel and my car is almost paid off and once this car is paid off I will be debt free and it it took you know probably took I got when did I get this car I got this car back in 2021 so yeah it's a process but I know that once this car gets paid off I could probably start to cut my hours back at my full-time job so yeah, it's guys, it's a process. It really is. So don't, I know it's easier said than done, but just, I know it's hard to get, to get discouraged and to want to give up, but it's just, you got to do what makes you happy. You know, this life is too short and it's like, I have these big ideas that I want to have happen and I'm gosh darn it. I'm going to do my best and do what I can to make those dreams happen. So I love you guys. You guys are doing great. Hang in there. <laughs> You're doing awesome. All right. I got to go back inside. So, all right. Talk to you later. Bye guys.